everybody, welcome back to the channel in another episode of the Battle of Astrakhazi. So, um, just a quick heads up, I'm working on a tactical map right now. I haven't got it quite ready, I was hoping to have it ready before the series, but I didn't really know where things were headed. Um, but I do have a tactical map um, being prepared, so the next episode uh, we'll get an idea of where we are on Astrakhazi and where our, like our nearest enemies are and things like that. So. Um, Currently, uh, we have taken over a one of the so-called weak warlords' territory. Um, he was a bit of a brutal asshole, um, and he was finished off by um, the Night Gaunts in the end of the at, at the end, end of the last episode. So, um, this episode, what we're going to do is um, we've got to start defending our own territory. The uh, warlords around the area uh, kind of see this area now as a power vacuum. So they're going to start sticking their noses into our turf. So we're going to have to be prepared for that. Um, it's already started. One of our uh, um, sort of outlying bases has been taken by uh, one of the war local warlords. So we're going to send the Night Gaunts over there to uh, check that out. And there's been an incursion on the other side of our territory too by another warlord. Um, so we're going to send the Dragon's Rejects over there uh, hopefully before um, these the enemy mechs get in um, to do any damage. Hopefully we can get there and defend and uh, uh, at least stop the incursion from happening. So um, really quickly before we do that, I just wanted to do a quick look at our mech bay here for the Dragon's Rejects. Now I was able to bring the Clint forward because I managed to get ourselves a Thumper. We picked up a Thumper inside uh, one of the bases, Thumper artillery piece, and um, We've got a ton of ammo for it, so I decided to put it in the Clint. And also, too, I wanted to thank people for uh, showing me this. I didn't realize there was this little button here. We can go back and forth between the vehicles. Now, we can't, re we can't refit the vehicles in any way, unfortunately. Uh, they haven't quite got there yet, but you can see the vehicle down here. There, there's the headset. I don't know if you can go... No, we can't, because you have to refit it to be able to go in and see it. So, it is here. It is sort of visible. Um kind of at the bottom so hopefully sooner or later we'll be able to um, get it and, and uh, actually alter these guys but for now we're not going to be able to uh, so going back to the max real quick uh, so we do have the Clint we're going to employ it today uh, just to see how it works and I've made a couple changes to the loadouts of the max so the bushwhacker let's have a look here I think I've, I think it was in the store I picked up this SRM 6 but I swapped out um, one of the uh, LRM with Zeus uh, on the arm, and I dropped the uh, two pulse lasers that we had here and put in two medium pulse, or sorry, two uh, regular medium lasers. The range on these is a little better, like 60 meters better. So um, I decided to put them in because they weren't firing very often. Um, and I used them somewhere else, and I'll show you in a second. And I pulled up the Zeus. I moved the ammo into the torso so that it's actually case protected. Thank you for the people who pointed that out. Uh, and that wasn't my issue when I built this mech it was just that's how it was laid out when I got it I didn't change anything um, so uh, so yeah it's now we've got also rather than just having regular LRM uh, mag pulse ammo we've all got, also got regular LRM ammo and we've got a ton of SRM ammo for the SRM so we got a little bit more short range firepower um, I think because this has got the same range as the uh, medium lasers so hopefully we'll be employing these a lot more and then the Zeus is at least we can strike uh, with regular LRM ammo if we want to do damage uh, as well as the mag pulse which we I think we'll be using probably most of the time to start with uh, but we had the option to change things around and then um, let's have a look the trebuchet stayed the same the hitman changed slightly so this guy now has three flamers on it um, and because we're running with the incendiary rockets that's a good um, sort of trade-off because I wanted to use the lasers elsewhere um, so anyway yeah so this is our flamer unit now uh, flamer slash scout unit we still have the narc launcher and everything on here Beagle Pro mask all that stuff I might take the mask off I don't know yet but we'll see we haven't needed the extra speed yet and then the wolfhound is a major change because we're having major heat problems with this guy so let's have a look here it's balanced out a lot more heat efficiency is pretty much you know flush um, so we pulled out the ER large 
and we threw in three medium pulse lasers and a medium X pulse. Now the X pulse itself does about the same damage as the large laser, although it's not doesn't won't fire as far. But this guy actually his his design is to um, get in close, and he's actually quite fast and able to do that. Uh, we've got a couple jump jets on here now too, uh, and he's got three medium pulse lasers for accuracy, which I think is going to help out too because this guy's going to be a lot closer. It's a 300 meter range of these, but uh, like I said, we'll be in close. Uh, we got the fire control system energy range too on this thing, which increases the weapon range. So that makes the pulse lasers just that much more deadly because I think that that increases the range to 345, if I'm not mistaken. So almost the same as a regular medium laser. So we got the Guardian ECM on here as well. So that's, yeah, that's this guy. And that's it. All right, so let's just uh, quickly hop in and check out what the Night Gaunts are up to. Well, we knew it wasn't going to be long before they... Uh, the other warlords decided that they were going to push our territory, so uh, we better check out why this base has gone dark. So let's get up here. Uh, what's the best way to get down the other side? Looks like it's over here. Kind of in a bad, uh, bad zone here, so let's move this way. We'll get some height. Check out what's going on. Aye, aye. All right, we got enemy contacts already. It's on the flank here. It's interesting. It must be a scout. Um, let's get down in here. Actually, you're the LRM. You're the LRM boat. So let's keep you up high, and let's push you in this way. To We're really gonna have to watch our heat here. We're away from the coastline right now, or while well, from the inland sea, so it's a little warmer over this area, as you can tell. Harasser missile platform LRM okay all right well so looks like that's like our, our recon beak or a uh, a stealth tower that belongs to us at least it looks that way all right we can get down this way, right? I'm interested to see if there's anybody over here. No, apparently not. Waiting for orders. Looks like this guy's sitting out here all by himself. So let's take advantage of that. Um yeah, it's minor, minor better chances to hit. Let's fire it all. Hope we get lucky. He's only got an LRM-10. Yeah, we know you're there. You. We know you're there. Okay, let's move in a little closer. Uh, it's gonna make us hot, but nah. I was hoping for an, an early kill on this guy, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Build connect. Yes, Commander. Well, I don't know what warlord this guy belongs to, but we gotta send him a very clear message that they're uh, interloping in our territory will not be allowed. Um. Switching this down to single fire mode for now. That's right. I'm on your tail. Oh, looks like we got guys over here. Well, you're making it easier for us. That I appreciate. Oof, seven damage. Got something you want done? I want this guy gone. That's what I want done. Acknowledged. Thanks. Let's hammer him hard. Right, we got another target. No luck. 
Got another target. I don't see it here. Oh, there it is. Another wasp lamb. Well, we picked up some parts from a wasp lamb in the last episode. So if we get some more this episode, maybe we'll be able to complete it. We only got one part. So if we can get a couple more, that would be nice. Let's try and get this guy gone. He's panicking. I'm ready. Onward. Accuracy. Or panic through volume of fire. Leave that one off. Okay, it penned. That's nice. Maybe if we get some missiles on him, he'll bail out. Hey, those are our buildings. Well, Ready. not ours. They're the locals' buildings, but we're protecting them. On the move, full speed. I'm trying to give the locals some autonomy here. Oof, really. Let's just hold off, because that's a no-go. That is a no-go. Oh, he's running. That's interesting. So we got the Phoenix Hawk brought forward. Waiting for orders. We need some money to get it repaired. We don't have that right now, but that's alright. Alright, don't miss him. Don't miss them. Or we're paying for buildings. God, that's a really low chance to hit. Cry Ooh, you still hit though. You didn't destroy any buildings. That's amazing. Ready to get it on. Are you? Acknowledged. All right, same deal. Nah, let's hold off. Let's just hold off. Alright, let's go gatekeeper. Alright, we got one unit in the sit rep now. Well, in the area we're supposed to be for a sit rep. Wow, this guy's got like... ridiculous evasion. Screw it. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> we got him, though. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we'll give you all the parts from this. How's that sound? That's my bad. Can't let that guy be running around anymore. Okay. Looks like there's only two units. Alright. Standing by. Can you get in the uh I don't think you got the jump range now. We just got like a a one square jump. Let's get down here. No shooting, just running. A one hex jump. I think our chance to hit is so ridiculously uh well it's two point six. Let's just hold off. Alright, let's push this guy. Excuse me. Receiving you. They really need to add waypoint pathing. They really do. That's still going to be ridiculously low, I think. Yeah, even lower. That's alright, we'll figure it out. Maybe he'll jump in and fight. 
Come on, start screaming up. Fly in, land, shoot some people and fly out. Or just walk up and get your ass killed. That's That'll work for me too. I'm good with that. Minimum damage. This guy's nothing. Ready for orders. I'm interested to see what his loadout's got though. Got it, Commander. Really interested to see the loadout. What's up, boss? Affirmative. Shoot him. That ain't bad. Fire everything. Yeah, man. Roger. Full speed. Maybe take his head off if you get lucky. If you get lucky, I should double up this shot. Nope. Laser hit, though. Oh, we're not close enough to that. Oh, I see. We have to be super close to that building to get a... Uh, Chance for a sit rep here. Order. Acknowledge. Let's get right in here. It's fine. That's fine. Hammer him. Primitive. Ooh. See what he does when faced with superior firepower. Oh, he's running. I thought he would have jumped away. He could be really hot too, that's the other thing. Damage is light. Yeah. Ready to get it off. Alright Blade, you and I are going to chase this guy down. Blade is technically the commander of this lance, but... Ooh, that was a leg, right? Yeah, and a right torso. Solid. He's panicking. Come on, bail out. Oh, still alive. Yes, commander. On my way. Double time. That should put him in the, uh... Yep. One of two units. What's up, boss? This will be two of two units. On my way. Double time. Excellent. Detected incoming forces of unknown origin. Red alert status. We're always on red alert. They've got defenses fully primed. What's going on? Wait, is this the enemy turrets? No, because we would have the ability to target them, wouldn't we? That's got to be our turrets. Over here. Well, we'll find out in a second. Let's just finish this turn up. Let's go after this leg. And I'm going to switch it back to standard. I think I want to keep the other stuff for uh, what we got coming in here. Still not enough to get him to bail out, huh? Wait a minute. Oh shit, these turrets are theirs. God damn it. We gotta kill this lamb though. Let's get him out of here. We'll worry about them next turn. They surprise the hell out of us. Alright, let's go after this leg. Um. Ah, damn it. Gonna go this route. Come 
Come on, bail. Crap. Well, he lost his turn. All right. I'm your spaniel. We're kind of stuck in the center of everybody here. I think this turret's got to go first. Because it looks like he's got stealth and, sh and shiz on it. Get into here. Keep our front facing these guys. We're going to only walk it though, get our stability back. Let's go after this guy and try and kill him. That's an AMS he's got on it, it looks like. What else do we have here? Two ballistic. 240. He's got more armor. Two missile. Probably LRM 10s. That's an AMS for sure. Uh, let's go up to the ballistic. Ready for orders. Roger that. All right, we got to give up this base now, unfortunately. Uh, just use the standard ammo, but fire everything on this guy. I need you back there, Blade. Gotta find out what the other turret is. So we know that this guy's the ballistic. What's this one? Ballistic and missiles. Alright, let's go after this guy. Uh, we're gonna leave this on one. Alright, let's try to pull his turret down. Nice hit. Still not enough. Scored a critical hit. Gotta leave the lamb. I gotta do it. I can't uh I can't leave my lance hanging out to dry here. Lamb's no real threat right now, but these turrets definitely are. Um We'll drop a, well, we're not going to drop any heat just firing these, but uh, we're going to go with just the missiles. Okay, nice. Immediate direct fire threat is taken care of. Reporting. Heavy damage. So that's an SRM turret, I think. And a minefield turret. Fuck. That's bad news. That's real bad news. Alright. Waiting for orders. That's a lot of mines. Let's go after this turret. Okay, we got one. We got one AC hit, and a couple lasers. I think you're okay to maneuver. Yeah, very, very few mines in the way here. Let's take this turret down. Drop a little bit of heat here, and we'll fire all the SRMs. Tags on. That's gonna help a little bit. Get up on the hill and get into some trees, get some protection up here. 46, huh? Okay, we got one hit. Yes, Commander. How far can you jump? Not very far. The benefit though is we're almost taking no damage from the mines this way. It's only 12 over here. Let's back it up so they don't have a direct line of sight on you. Uh, I'm going to Vigilance. 
Simply because um, I don't know how much damage we'll take from other things. Let's fire everything on this guy though. Angel ECM gone. Score to critical hit. Bloodhound probe crit. Beautiful. So this command bunker has just got chaff and stuff, eh? Don't jinx it! Okay. Standing by. Alright, see if we can finish this guy up with these two lasers. It's unlikely, but... Okay, we got one hit. Thank you. I will be done. Get over here. Mostly for the evasion. And we'll go with all three on this guy. I want him gone. Okay. Commander. Uh, yeah. Okay, that puts us out of the minefield at least. I think this turret's got to go. Really? See what I mean? They need pathing. It's forcing me to go through here because it's quicker, but it's not. I'm going through a minefield then. I mean, I'm only going through four mines, so it's not a big deal, but still. Kind of a pain in the ass. More damage. Yeah, that'll keep us under. Excellent. Jesus. Guy's pretty accurate. At least it's my hardiest mech taking the damage, you know? Let's hold off with you. I'm here. There we go. On the way. Position ourselves behind here so the other turret can't shoot us, so if we can destroy it, then we don't have to worry about you being shot. Let's just go with this one. May I Beautiful. Beautiful. Target eliminated. Got something you want done? Yep, I need you to attack this base. I think I'm probably safe. Yeah, I think I'm far enough away. Double shot up, please. Okay, we got one hit on. That's good. That's good. He's mostly shooting. I don't know where most of the shots have hit. I got a lot of leg damage. Okay, um... Can I survive? Let's just go with the missiles. Excellent. Computers were hacked. Something's not definitely not right here. Let's move on to the next base. Okay. Well... Waiting for orders. I'd love to, but... I got a guy trapped in a minefield here. I don't know if he can get out of. I'm almost out of ammo here. 
Let's see if we get lucky on this guy. Maybe we can knock him down. Well, I already knocked him out. Don't know if he bailed out or what happened. God, I don't want to do this. 128, 133, 97. 106. Ninety-seven might be the uh, the road to freedom here. Ninety-seven's the road to freedom. Let's see if we make it. Let's move. Twenty-two damage. Yeah. See, they got to give. Take the flames. Position confirmed. I don't know if waypoints are possible though in this game. It would be really, really nice if they were. How far can I? I guess I got to go to here. On my way. That's fine. Going. Can't go full out. Not yet, anyway. Just in case you guys are wondering, this is also a one skull mission, like the last one was. I think with the clanners, I'm going to stick to one skulls. Roger. It just seems fair, you know. Locking in coordinates. Acknowledged. I mean, all's fair in love and pancakes, you know what I'm saying? It's getting the trees. I have no idea if we got guys bursting out of here or what's going on this time. They've, this blackout, this is a blackout mission if you haven't guessed yet. But they've, they've done a great job with the blackout missions. Oh, we got a, guys landing in. Looks like we got some defenses online here. Okay, we need to get up here fast. What do we got coming in here? Chimera, a Vulcan, a Flea, and a Javelin. The Javelin's probably going to be the danger. Let's get up this way. Rolling. This way we can get some fire, like some fire support side shots on these guys with our speed here. Alright, looks like it's me. At least it's given us a second to cool off here. Uh, they're going to go right for the um, base. So we're going to need to hit them hard, I think. This guy looks like he's a friggin' danger. Missile and two energy. Let's check this guy out. It looks like he's got like a massive... Uh, Yeah. I don't know if that's a 15 or a 20 on his shoulder. Well, he got 580 armor though. Vulcan, 2 ballistic, 2 energy. Flea's all energy. He's probably all smalls. Oh, this guy's all energy. Okay. Um. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, all SRMs on this guy. Tags on. Nice. Um, Standing by. Same thing. At least it'll take a turn for them to get up with the energy weapons to go after the buildings. And I should have held off with the large, I think, on that. Order. I am going to hold off with the LRMs here, though. Fire the mediums on this guy for now. Alright, we got one hit. Order. Let's stay on the height here, on the high ground. Give us a little bonus to hit with them. 
continue on with this guy. Wow, we gotta watch out with the AC here. Roger. Gotta find a way to get more ammo in there. I gotta find some more Ultra 10 ammo. Damn it. Either that or we find another uh, auto cannon that can go in there. I don't know if this guy's got all smalls or mediums. Mediums. Fuck. There goes one building. Three left. Oh, he didn't fire. Okay. <laughs> At least somebody else is on the receiving end of these turrets other than me. Oh, I'm so used to getting killed by turrets. What's this? A pair of thumpers. Shit, I should just stand back and let that guy finish them off. What the hell? Alright, let's get into here. Well, I think we used two rounds on this guy though. ER large laser and an MRM-20. That would be a nice replacement, I think, for some of the some of our uh, gear here. Okay, we got two hits, it looks like. Some heavy two hits by the numbers Aye. and one hit by the visual, it looked like. I copy. Uh, just using the standard. Yeah, this guy's taking a lot of damage. There he goes. All right. That's a kill. You got that right. All right, giant. I need you on that flea. Can you get him from where you are? I don't know if you can. Oh, you can get him from here though. I'm going. Pair of mediums, please. This guy's taking a lot of damage. It allows you to drop your heat. All right, now uh, we're gonna brawl this shiz up. I'm gonna go with this. Not that we needed it, now that I think about it. I was just thinking, ah, I wanna use that just in case we don't get initiative next turn. But we will, so I'm not sure why I'm worried. He's taking a bunch of back damage already from the artillery. Ooh, I'm in... I hope that thumper doesn't shoot me down here. Tag's on. They should keep moving forward, I think. Beautiful. wonder what he's shooting. He... Vulcan. AC2s, maybe? At least I'm away from the artillery now. Oh, well, Thumpers, I guess, couldn't fire because, uh... Probably too close to this guy. I want to use two on this guy. Yeah, we're almost at the end of the battle. There you go. Screw you, buddy. Tango down. That's what you call an early grave. You want to go after the buildings? We found a way to stop you. Oh, I was hoping for a double kill. I saw that guy moving and I thought maybe my our, my missiles got them both. I was going to say that would be totally worth it, but can't have everything. Okay, we're switching to LK. Here it comes. That should do it. Yep. Ah. Target eliminated. Much better than that turret fiasco. Mission successful. All right, so that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's see what we got out of this. Two Chimera pieces. There's the Wasp lamb parts. AC-10 BBX-5. 
I think we already looked like this. This is the lower tech version, right? Yeah, we don't want that. So it did have AC2s on it. It's a possibility to go with the AC2s. Um, ER mediums, LRM10s, uh, mind dispensers, SRM6, Bloodhound probe. That's a good possibility. I know we've already got one, but it's a possibility. Lamb engine. Let's take it. I don't know. I'm really up in the air whether or not the the uh, these things have it all built in still. Uh, maybe we should take a 160 core too. Defensive gyro we'll take. Double heat sinks are a possibility. Lamb aluminum armor or aluminium depending on where you live. 10% maximum jump distance, 10% armor weight. How does that work? You're adding weight, but you're adding jump distance? I guess it's aerodynamic. That seems very strange. I think I would have gone with more fixed slots if you're adding jump distance and lamb structure. You know what? Let's lamb it up today um, to see if we can actually turn one of our other mechs into a lamb. I don't know if we can or not. LRM Deadfire would be nice. But I think that's probably where we're going to go, is this way. Alright, Flea part, Harasser part, Javelin part, Vulcan part, Flamer, LRM-10, some armor, which we can just go ahead and sell. I'm going to sell the Flamer. Uh, we'll keep the LRM-10, the basic cockpit can go. Bloodhound probe is a nice, a nice acquisition. Internal combustion engine can go. Uh, the heat sink, let's just hold on to that for now. The double heat sink we'll hold on to. Small jump jet. We've got, what, nine? So we can sell the ones that we picked up. Let's hang on to a couple more just in... Well, we're not going to eat them. Um, structure standard. Heat sink cooling can go. Half ton of LRM ammo. The machine gun ammo can go. All right, so not bad. All right. So I was actually just up here talking with my son. We were talking about that lamb armor. And it would be... I think what it should be is like a reduction in weight. Right? So minus 10% weight. So let's just go ahead and put this together. The 100A, I don't think, this is what, SRM2, L, SRM, LRM10 launcher. Let's just, and an extra jump jet. All right, we'll grab this one. Let's assemble it. 103,000, we got the money. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Replaces the bomb bay with an LRM10 launcher. All right, let's just check it out here. Um, so yeah, the, the, the wasp, the lamb aluminium armor, the 10% weight, yeah, this does, if we repair this, yeah, so we need to add the gyro back, but everything else is intact, the 160 core is intact, that's nice. So this here, adding the 10% weight, I know they're trying to balance it out, but if you're adding jump distance, it should reduce weight, but add more fixed slots. Right, so you're reducing the weight, but you're um, using it to streamline the mech so you have less internal space. I think that's what they should have gone with with, it, with this. But that's just me. And then the lamb structure, I understand increasing the structure points because you're going to have like the structure weight because you've got to, to deal with the landing all the time and, and the uh, um, um, impact from landing and, and moving around and stuff, so it would, ha would have to have a lot more structure. So I, I understand that, but this I think needed to be like reducing the weight, so it balances the two off. So whatever you're adding here, you're reducing in the armor. Either that or, you know, I don't know. But that's just me, whatever. Alright, so we got this mech now. It's like 29.48 tons, and why is it... Oh, it's got an LRM-10. I guess it had half a ton of ammo. It did. So we'll figure this out. It's got one laser slot, one support slot, one ballistic in the head, which is interesting, and one missile slot. So, I mean, we don't really have a lot that we can add. I mean, the SRM-2 streak is a possibility with an ER large. That might be an interesting loadout. But we need a double heatsink kit, I think, for this for that to work. But we'll figure that out. All right, I'm going to end this episode. Well, 
end this section of the video. Um, we're going to switch over to um, the Dragon's Rejects to see what kind of mischief they've gotten themselves into. All right, well, the Dragon's Rejects have re just reached our outlying base here. And um, from what it looks like, um, everything is shut down and offline. There's not, there's, there are people here, but there's not a lot going on. So we brought an engineering crew with us. We're going to bring them in and hopefully uh, we can get this, these turrets back up and running uh, to help us defend this base. A lot of the stuff that we, we sort of um, inherited from this, this region, a lot of it's broken down and not working. So hopefully the engineers here can get this stuff running. But we're going to move in, um, set up a defensive position. Apparently there's multiple targets approaching from different areas. So we're just going to move up, see if we can find out uh, where they are. Now... Um, we brought with us, rather than bringing the um, the uh, the hitman with us, we brought with us the Clint with the uh, artillery piece on it because we want to try that out, see how it works. Plus, it's better for defending this base. Um, set it up as a mobile platform near the base, fire at the enemy. Um, this is really just a hit a uh, a um, a non-scouting kind of mission, so we don't really need the hitman all that much. So piloting the Clint uh, is a new pilot named Icehouse. Now this guy um, is from the local area. He's a uh, retired mech warrior and um, didn't do much when he when uh, the people here were um, under the thumb of the uh, old warlord. But uh, now that he's gone, this guy's sort of come out of retirement to help us out to keep the... Uh, the other uh, brutal warlords at bay so right. he's offered to help us out so we've took him up on his uh, on his offer we're just about we're gonna see here today how he does so hopefully he'll be in, end up being a good addition to the team we can always use more mech warriors yes, Commander. doesn't pilot vehicles though he does he just piles uh, piles pirates mechs so let's get up to here I have no idea where the enemy's coming from, so... Standing by. Let's get you moving along the road. Double time, let's go. As long as the vehicles are out of the trees, we're good to go here. So we're kind of along the coast. That's why it's so wet in this area. Alright. Uh, for some reason, we had contacts but we before but we don't now Copy that. Well, we do now well we know where they are um, shiz <sighs> I don't want to go here through here because it's going to increase the damage against me but I'm guessing I got no choice Let's push these guys hard. No problem. Let's just stay behind here with the headser. So what do we got here? Well, we got turrets online is what we got. APCs are in place. Beautiful. So it looks like Stinger, Wasp, Flea, Firestarter. Two missile and three energy, huh? Okay. What do you need? Roger. Well, I'm taking full advantage of this. Uh, we'll leave the Zeus's off. Pretty good heat though for this guy. All right, leave the Zeus's off, but we'll fire everything else. Put it all in the back of this guy. Here it comes. <laughs> I bet you they didn't think anybody was going to be here. Surprise, motherfuckers! Coordinates received. Yeah. So look at that. I mean. Already, I think this is probably a better uh, a better loadout and zero heat. 
I mean, we're in the jungle, so that helps out, but... We finish this guy off. That's that's an easy kill. So let's go after this guy instead. I'm gonna make okay, not bad. The three X pulses, or the three medium pulses, are basically like an SRM-6 with uh, dead fire ammo. Although they have a better chance to hit. And they ignore more evasion, so... They running? Okay. Damage minimal. You work on that. Awaiting orders. Well, might as well see if we can shred this guy up. Go with the improved ammo. Here it comes. Well, he's going down. I got a feeling the turret should be able to clean these guys up. I don't know what we've got in these turrets, but... I hear ya. I'm very shy to be able to use this thing. Missed. Right over here. So they, apparently they did a bunch of work with the, um... Yes, Commander. I'm like shy to go in with these guys because I don't know if we have artillery. Alright, let's move up. I know I'm not paying for armor, or, like armor repairs, but still, it's like I don't want to take it. I don't want to take a hit if I can avoid it, right? I'm not going to play recklessly just because I'm not paying for the repairs. Um, let's go after this guy. Shot. Oh, okay. No joy. Looks like a. Oh, it's a laser turret. Okay. So they're probably gonna. Yeah, they're gonna go after the damage guys. Failed to stand up. All right. Bonus for us. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcement. Ooh, right, right in the same spot. Although there might be more guys on the other side. Yeah. What can I do, you fool? We got to kill these guys fast so we can c clean up anybody else that might be coming. Okay, we've got Sensor Trace over here, Harasser Missile Platform, Fire Starter, and a Scorpion. Let's fire on this guy. So, the old, um... The old, uh, what the hell was it called? Oh, yeah, there are more over here. The left run. The old Grinner was sort of the inspiration for the Wolfhound. It's very rare that we start with pulse lasers, so... Alright. What can I do for you? Got four targets over here. Let's see what we can do against these guys. So, Wolverine, okay. How much does this guy weigh? And a Clint. Wow. I guess because he hasn't gone yet. Clint's the one that's gone. Alright, it's fire on the Clint. Alright, took a little bit of damage. A little bit of spill damage, that's fine. So artillery was a really nasty thing a long time ago. I don't think it's as nasty as it was before. Blank. 
Commander. I need to get you on this side. We need to get somebody with heavy firepower over there. I might move the uh, the Hetzer over there too. I don't know yet. I wonder if the Hetzer and the Wolverine can clear up, or the uh, Wolfhound can clear this side up. Oh, they're shooting at the base already. All right, got a hit on him. Way to go, team! That's a missile turret. This is a laser turret. Calliope turret, but it was firing lasers before. Sniper turret. Yeah. Didn't seem very snipery to me. I think we got to engage these guys. Yeah, he hasn't gone yet. But this guy has. Uh, go with standard ammo. And firing. It's a lot of scatter. Okay. Fire suppression has forced that guy to move back. Nice. Looks like he's got a large pulse laser though. Be nice if we could pick that up and salvage. Come on man, you gotta survive. We gotta have everyone survive. Everybody goes home. All right. 24 on both. See if we can get this guy. So he's got a small laser magnet, two flamers, and two LRM-10 long fires. That's interesting. Oh, we'll connect sooner or later. Ooh. Bail out. Come on, someone's got to bail out. Alright, Clint's taking some damage. Whose turn is it? Oh, the Clint. It's a little tricky. I'm gonna take the back shot when I can take it. Force this guy hopefully to move it in a different direction. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. We've got a lot of scatter with the exception of the heads here. Everything is like scatter weapons. Well, the medium X pulse. Come on, keep your eyes on that Clint, man. They're all trying to get out of the water, I think, because it's just, it's easier for us to spot them when they're in the water, plus it's harder for them to move. So the Stinger, oh, that's a Wasp. It's got the SRM-2, I guess. You and your freaking pulse laser.
Got it. Okay, I'm gonna go on the fire truck. Heavy flamer and two fluid guns. I mean, it's not the the best target, but it's probably the. Oh well, no, the Clint's is the easiest one to hit. So he's got an AC5 pirate and medium laser pirate. Let's fire on him. All weapons are go. Ooh, nice hit. It's your job to take on this lance at the back here. On it. Uh, let's leave that off for now. Actually, we're going to leave this on. We're going to put the EMP on it, help it out a little bit. Medium pulses, large pulse. That's actually not a bad loadout. Copy that. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm liking the addition of the SRM on that. Be better if it was a streak, but aye, aye. We'll take what we can get. As much as I want to shoot this guy back there. We got an extra turn, I think, before these other guys show up. So let's shoot at this guy, and hopefully any spillover hits the guy behind him. I don't know if that'll happen though. This will be a kill. Him everything I've got. Enemy down. No, I think the one thing I did do with the um, with the trebuchet is I swapped out the. I think we had an extra ton of normal ammo. I think I swapped that out and put in a, another ton of improved. Pretty sure that's what I did. At least that guy's not applying too much damage. All right. Yeah, the building should have like certain resistances. So against lasers and stuff, they should be more resistant. Only because like you can burn a single hole through a building. But it's not exploding or doing anything crazy, whereas, you know, uh, missiles and rockets and things like that will punch holes straight through the building. Screw you! Oh, you missed. Ah, oh, crap. How many did we get? They think they can hurt Four. Okay, that's not bad. Well, it is one against three. They've only lost one mech so far. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Nice shot. Come on, kill that flea. Is that him trying to get up? Oh, he's up. Okay. You gonna piss off a head, sir? Are you kidding me? Not that he can hit, but... Alright. Mess him up. Mess him up good. Good to go. What's up, punk? Ooh. One left time. That's an Omni Mac too. I think the other one back there is an Omni Mac as well. That'll be a nice addition if we can pick that up. Did you just shoot me in the back? Shot me in the fucking arm. Pushing the base. Confirmed. Let's 
Let's go with EMP on this guy. Fire everything. How'd that taste? Nice. Ooh, we almost cored him. That's all right. That's all right. You hang in there, buddy. Wolverine's going to be tricky, I think. Kind of shocked we're getting a 55-ton mech this early. I mean, it is only one skull, but... I know it's random, too. You never know, right? Look at this thing. Uh-huh. Our thumper's in the other arm, so we should be okay. I think the medium laser's in the torso? Can't remember where it is. I don't think it's in the other arm, though. Alright, Ice House. What can I do for you? I read you, Commander. Moving out. God, you sound so young. I may have to change your voice. 16 on the Clint, 20 on this guy. 40 with oh, lots of medium laser though. Best chance on this guy. Let's take it. Do we? Oh, that could be a kill if we get a good shot. Although I think if we go over here there's a better chance to spill the damage over to the other guy. So let's let's fire here. Nice. So the Clint did take some damage. Beautiful. Wolverine took a solid hit. That's nice. It still seems like it's doing a lot of damage. For not even being... I don't think that was a direct hit though. It might have been. I need to get the Wolverine on that guy. Standing by. No, no, not the Wolverine, the Wolfhound. You know what I'm talking about. Going to full throttle. Alright, let's engage this Wolverine. He's unstable. Um, yeah, we'll go with improved because better chance to hit. And fire it all. Roger that. Oh, yeah. Devastation through volume of fire. Wolfhound saving your ass, Tiger Tail. That's the wasp, right? Twenty-seven. Oh, firing. Oh man. Okay. Nice. One less person we got to worry about. Okay, penetration. Nice. Oh, we got one turret left. Guy's got balls, I'll give him that. Looks like he's ready to fall over. Yeah. Show me your war face. Yeah. Let's hope for a kill. I'm going to switch to regular ammo. Hopefully we can get enough damage on this guy. That should be more than enough though, I think. Roger. That'll do it. Target destroyed. Yeah, man. Okay, she should be able to handle the other two back there. Receiving you. We'll get you on this guy. 
Are we finish off the flea now? Now let's get on this guy. Consider it done. Flea's not really a threat. The shot. That looked like a lot of leg hits to me. Yep, hit destroyed. Taking a critical hit. You got that right. So we might be able to pull the Wolverine down this turn. I don't, I don't know how much damage he's sustained, but looks like he's sustained a lot. Oh, you want to play that game, do you? Aye, aye. Roger Stay in the trees. Let's just apply a liberal amount of damage to this guy. Medium laser's gone, AC5's all that's left. Target the Wolverine and apply MRMs liberally. <laughs> Enjoy it. Uh. <laughs> I love MRMs, man. They just seem OP to me. But I guess at higher levels. Although, if you, I don't know, if, if you gang fire them at higher levels, it's better. Um, let's go on this guy. Firing everything I've ah, that's a big miss. Oh well. Hey, stay in the crosshairs. Sorry, right, buddy. You've already landed a couple big hits. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You may end up having a permanent position in the lance. We'll see. But I think I'm going to try and gro I think I'm going to try and go with um, extended uh, dropships earlier rather than later to get more units on the field. That way we can crank up our difficulty level. That's my goal, I think. But we'll see how it goes. The clan, um, the clan playthrough is already at over five. It's over five hundred thousand per month right now. But if we're only running one lance, then it shouldn't be too bad. Come on, 27%. Fuck. Well, you got the guys who are in the hills over there. Failed to connect. All out of AC-20 ammo. Yes. You're not out of AC-20. You got like, you got two tons left. Ooh, yeah. That PPC is doing a job, man. Okay, we got to go after that harasser now. Where you going? I have some loving for you. Alright. Let's go up to this guy. I don't know if you can hear the cat in the background. That's uh, one of our cats looking for the other one. Beautiful. Round 8. We got two more after this. We should be able to clean this up. Yes, Commander. Should be able to clean this up. Stay in the trees. Uh, we want a solid line. There we go. On the move. What is up? This guy looks like a cross between an archer and a rifleman, almost. Like archer torso with the rifleman arm, kind of. I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like a hammer or something. Very, very weird looking, that's for sure. It looks like it's got a Battlemaster cockpit to it. All right, let's fire it all. All right, Taskmaster. Understood. Let's get on this vehicle. Hopefully we can finish this guy up this turn. We're running low on AC-10 ammo, but I think we'll be all right. I'm going to go with the EMP, though, in case he decides not to fire at us. Alright, a little bit of sensor impairment. Ok, 
Okay. Ooh, nice shot. I, I hope that was the guy you were supposed to be shooting for. <laughs> ah, nice, you got both of them. I hear you. 23, 25 with the uh, thumper on this guy. Commencing alpha strike. All right, well, we got crit on the... Uh, I don't know if any of that spilled over onto us, though. That's the only thing. I'm being flanked. That's uh, as long as they're targeting you, they're not targeting the buildings. Yeah, I think we took a little damage from the uh, splash. One point in the arm. Yeah, we took one. We took a little bit of splash damage. Not a lot. Ready for orders. Where do you think you're going, bub? You got a date with an AC-20. This guy's going to keep hounding you. AP ammo or standard? Let's go standard. We're not hitting with anything anyway, so... That's a miss. <sighs> I'd almost want to downgrade that to an, an AC-10 and then put a couple of medium lasers on there too. But we'll keep going with the AC-20. Well, that's this guy over here. Oh, he's got Toronto lasers. All right. Piece of junk. I think those are those old piece of crap lasers. Something I can do. You can help out with this wasp. Because we can't I seem to hit him with the AC-20. Come on, blow his leg off. There it is. Something. Now we should... Screw you, gravity! We should be able to take his other leg with the AC-20, in theory. Yeah. Moving and I move into the open when I fire, just so they have a better chance to hit. And firing. One in the back. That's a lot of damage. One more for the scrap heap. Yeah, I'm still up in the air about this AC. It's not bad. I think I would prefer it, like hitting every once in a while with like for like 12 damage here or there, than missing completely all the time. Alright, we haven't lost a unit yet. Nice shot. Standing by. Moving to position. Gonna back up a bit. We're gonna use artillery on the guy at the back. I'm gonna just shred this guy with the Clint. Or shred the Clint with the, uh, you know what I'm saying, with the trebuchet. Just give up, buddy. You're a stick. You are a stick. Ooh. Oh yeah, you shut down. Come on, bail out, buddy. You don't want to be there anymore. Oh, we panicked. And he's out. And that guy's gone. Just got the, the uh, wasp left. Order. There we go. That's it. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Mission successful. Alright, beautiful. That was a lot of damage to the enemy, that's for sure. So, at least with us being able to, to uh, stop these incursions, we can turn... That's a 60-ton mech. I think I want the Omni, though. Actually, let's grab all the C... Wait, what's the C? Um... One ballistic, two laser, four missile. That's interesting. Um, what is this guy? 
it's the same. Why does a fire starter have four missile? Which version is this though? Point nine eight drop cost multiplier. Well, let's grab those. Wolverine part. Yeah, I'm going to pass that stuff. Large pulse laser. That's an interesting find. I'm going to drop that in there for now. We haven't used a large pulse in a really long time. Medium pulse lasers. MML fives. Now the fire starter's got. Hmm. It's got missile launchers. I wonder if we use MMLs in that thing. Because we can use LRMs or SRMs with this, right? That's a possibility. The one ballistic, I don't know what I would put in there though. We could put the large pulse, the two MML fives, and then I don't know what. Although these things are really nice too. Oh, okay. We've got lots of endo steel still. Um double heat sinks. Lower omnipod arms, no. Standard heat sink cooling, structure, flame or ammo. Okay, no, I think we're going to go this route of hydro ammo. Hydra ammo. No, we're going to go this route. We're going to go with the weapon systems. All right, two clint parts, fire starter. We got the other part, which is nice. The fire truck part, harasser, wolverine part, LRM-10, I'll hang on to. Pirate medium laser. 27 damage for 16 heat, 11 variable damage, plus 1 accuracy. We'll hang on to that for now. Medium pulse is nice. Two small laser magnas. We're going to hang on to those two. Tag is excellent. Get rid of the regular armor. The primitive armor can go. The basic cockpits can go. The fuel cells can go. Standard fire control systems can go. Primitive cockpit can go. Standard fusion engine can go. We'll hang on to the inferno fluid ammo. And we'll get rid of the machine gun ammo. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead really quickly before we end this episode. I want to bring that fire starter forward. Forward. I think I'm going to remove the hitman. The hitman. We'll bring the fire starter forward, and then um, where are you here? Got the Valkyrie, which we don't really want right now. We want this guy. It's ready, this guy. I think we take the hitman out of storage. Or we, we put the hitman into storage and turn this guy into our flamer recon guy. We can put the mask and everything in it. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna get it fixed up first before we do that, um, and then um, we'll figure out where it's gonna go from there. Wow, look at the bright ass. That's a little better. That's what six. Yeah, let's go with six. Yeah, not the best, but we'll take it. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this plays out. If I can fit most of the stuff from the Hitman in here, then that's great. We'll pull out the Hitman, and this guy will become our main slash scout slash uh, flamer mech. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, now, I know we've only got a couple laser points. Actually, we don't. It's an Omni. We've got more than that. Yeah, so we can put way more than that. We can put a flamer in each arm, a missile launcher in each arm, and then flamers wherever we want. Totem sensors, plus one lance, what? Resolve gain for lance mates in aura range. That's kind of cool. Man, they got a lot of new stuff in this game. It's just really awesome. You could argue that there's too much, but I, I I don't. That that's pretty. It's pretty darn cool. All right, so I think we can get stuff from the Hitman into this, but we're going to get this guy fixed up. So I'll do that between episodes. Hopefully, the next time when we come back, we'll have that fire starter up and ready to go. Um, but yeah, so we were able to successfully handle the the two incursions into our territory. So hopefully, that's the end of it. Um, the more the enemy sends, and the more they get wiped out, the less they're they're apt to want to go ahead and do that. So we're going to have to see who it was that sent stuff against us and we're going to turn around and go back and uh, see if we can put some retribution on those guys and maybe claim a bit of their territory. 
So that's for the next episode, though. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.